After star-making turns in the hit films Ferris Bueller's Day Off and Dirty Dancing, it seemed like actress Jennifer Grey was poised to have a long and successful career in the entertainment industry. But a pair of nose jobs she received took away what made the actress special and made it hard for her to find work into the 1990s. Join Facts First as we take a look at the plastic surgery that destroyed Jennifer Grey's career. When plastic surgery goes bad, Getting plastic surgery isn't uncommon in the industry. While the average plastic surgery isn't too invasive and will likely only increase the celebrity recipient's chances of success, this wasn't the case for the pair of nose jobs that Jennifer Grey received in the late 80s. Prior to her botched surgery, Jennifer had risen to prominence in Hollywood thanks to roles in the features Red Dawn, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and Dirty Dancing. While her roles in the former features had been supporting ones, her starring turn in the latter made her a star. Jennifer starred in Dirty Dancing alongside Patrick Swayze, and both of them rocketed to stardom as a result of the film. Patrick went on to have a long and successful acting career, but sadly Jennifer Grey was duped into getting a nose job soon after the film's premiere, decreasing her future career prospects. Jennifer Grey's nose job goes bad. According to Jennifer, the nose job she received soon after the release of Dirty Dancing took away her identity and subsequently her career. She actually ended up having to receive two surgeries, though she intended only to get one. Her first nose job was botched, so she got a second one to fix the mistakes. The second nose job was able to salvage her nose, but it also left the star essentially unrecognizable. Memorably, Michael Douglas was said to have not recognized her upon her first public unveiling after recovering from her dual nose jobs. This unveiling took place at a film premiere and devastated Jennifer. As it turns out, nose jobs ran in her family. Both of her parents had them, and Jennifer's mom had even encouraged Jennifer to get one from a young age. While Jennifer was sympathetic with her parents' needs to control their own appearances, she always claimed she was beautiful enough the way she was and didn't need a nose job. But her tune started changing once Hollywood execs began echoing her mother's sentiments. Once it became a business issue, Jennifer felt getting a nose job was the right thing to do. But Jennifer had risen to star status with her God-given nose, and that was the nose people wanted to see. Her nose job not only did nothing to increase her career prospects, it actually diminished them. The Consequences of Jennifer's Botched Surgery Jennifer Grey's nose made her stand out, and she didn't feel like herself without it. The actress had a hard time coming to terms with her new nose, but she was eventually able to overcome the challenge. Besides her mother and the film executive we mentioned, another person who contributed to the actress's negative view of her nose was Andy Warhol. Jennifer apparently spent a lot of time partying in the same scene as Warhol, and the artist remarked once she needed a nose job. Despite all this bullying, it ended up being the prospect of more fame and fortune that caused Jennifer to go under the knife. If she'd played her cards right, the actress arguably could have maintained her stardom well after the release of Dirty Dancing. But whether her nose job was the only reason or not, she ended up finding a greatly reduced amount of work being offered to her entering into the 90s. She also suffered from chronic pain. This came not as a result from her botched nose job, but an accident she'd gotten into while driving with Ferris Bueller Day Off co-star and former love interest Matthew Broderick. Before we tell you more about that, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Jennifer's botched nose job wasn't her first tragedy. Only a few weeks prior to the release of Dirty Dancing, Jennifer Grey got into a tragic automobile accident with her then-boyfriend and Ferris Bueller co-star Matthew Broderick. The two had been dating since filming of the picture only a year earlier. They were visiting Ireland at the time, and there happened to be two other passengers in the car with them. Sadly, both of these passengers passed away as a result of the accident. Matthew was the driver and didn't sustain any serious injuries. But Jennifer sustained injuries to her neck and spine that caused repercussions in her life for two decades. Jennifer and Matthew's romantic relationship didn't last long after that car accident, but her pain sure did. The accident caused Jennifer to suffer from chronic pain for the next two decades. But it wasn't until a physical exam she took in preparation for her competing in the 11th season of Dancing with the Stars that the actress finally realized what had been hurting her for so many years. After realizing she'd been plagued by spinal injuries that she wasn't aware of since that 1987 car accident, she finally underwent the surgery she needed and was able to say goodbye to her pain once and for all. She also had long since come to terms with the results of her botched nose job, and so had audiences. She had long since given up dancing after the release of Dirty Dancing, with one of her main reasons for doing so being that chronic pain. 
She was also afraid her decidedly unprofessional dancing skills wouldn't hold their own in the eyes of Dirty Dancing fans. The movie had depicted the actress as a trained dancer. While Jennifer has always had dancing in her blood and certainly has innate rhythm, it wasn't until working on Dirty Dancing that she first gained any professional dancing experience. Jennifer's Victory on Dancing with the Stars With both her history of chronic pain and lack of professional experience, Jennifer had a lot to prove going into the 11th season of Dancing with the Stars, but the star and her partner ended up winning the season's competition. Sadly, her Dirty Dancing co-star was no longer alive to see her win that season. Patrick Swayze had passed away in 2009, and Jennifer was of course saddened to see her former co-star go. Although Jennifer and Patrick never had been romantically involved, they shared a deep friendship, and there were always those fans who refused to believe that the chemistry Jennifer and Patrick exuded on the screen wasn't real. But both Jennifer and Patrick have continuously denied they ever hooked up in real life. Patrick was married at the time, and Jennifer Grey was busy hanging out with Matthew Broderick. After moving on from Matthew, Jennifer went on to have an equally high-profile relationship with Johnny Depp. A decade later, Jennifer got married for the first and only time in her life. She married an actor named Clark Gregg, and the two had a child together named Stella. They recently separated in 2021. How is Jennifer today? Jennifer Grey is currently 62, and she's long since gotten over the trauma of her botched nose job. But the actress still likes to remind people of her story in case she can persuade any female stars in the same position not to go through with it. Still, it's doubtful that Jennifer would choose to be anywhere other than where she is today. She claims she's happier and more free than she's ever been, and all the hardships she's overcome have only helped her become who she is. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Jennifer Grey and Matthew Broderick dated after Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.